Assalamu alaikum viewers welcome to my channel Geno Wild Study if you are new on my channel please subscribe and press the bell icon so you will get the notification of all the new videos but don't forget to like this video I have already made the series of videos related to the Geno Wild analysis step by step and you people really appreciated it I am really thankful to you all but with the passage of time most of the websites and tools changed or most of uh, are updated and the most of the students feel difficulties during their analysis so i have decided to start the new series of re re lectures related to the genome wide analysis with updated tools and methods although i have made lot of related videos of updated software and web tools but these were not in sequence so most of the students feel difficulty and confused in finding such related video of their analysis so i have started i have decided to start the new series of you know wide analysis step by step with updated tools and websites and analysis and also this series have the quick method in through following this series you will obtain or do your analysis related to genome wide study very quickly if you get the data maybe one or two days you will complete all the analysis through this method so all this series include the these analysis like first we have to confirm our protein family on which we have to do the you know wide analysis then we can find and confirm the curie protein of that family through ncbi or genome database and that curie protein will be confirmed through their motif analysis and then we have to do the blast analysis in our studied genome crop in that crop we in which we are study and want to find out the protein family we do the blast analysis through tb tool and also through phytosome to find out our protein sequences or the protein family sequences from the genome of our studied plant and then we have to download the related sequences of that protein family like genomic cds protein and promoter cycle through applying tb tool and also download the other files related files and do the domain motif and gene structure analysis and also include the and find out the protein properties of that protein family in a one click not searching all these in one by one it also includes the characterized family gene that how we can find out our protein families genes that were characterized that were functionally characterized whose function was experimentally proved and literature is available so how we can find out that characterized genes from other crops and then we have to make the phylogenetic tree to correlate our studied plants gene to correlate them and predict the function uh, functional gene of our crop on the basis of that characterized protein and also we have to do the prepare the beautiful phylogenetic tree tree by using different tools and it also includes the sequence alignment and the gene location on the chromosome through tv tool or any other software in a very quick manner that didn't give you any sort of the error and also we can find out kaks values by finding kaks values most of the students feel difficulty with either that web page is updated 
or they can't find out through TV tool or other. So I will show you another type of uh, uh, analysis to find out KAKS values. It was also updated one. And also we can do the sentinel analysis between two species or multiple species and they are make the circles. <clears throat> also find out the promoter region of our protein family and analysis and also do the pathway analysis that our protein family involved in which pathway through KAGG method or a gene ontology method and also which micro RNA regulate that our protein family find out that micro RNA and then make their structures and 2D structure protein protein structure and it includes expression analysis also find out and make the heat map maps and also related other uh, analysis or figures uh, we also have to do the 3D protein modeling also include in this series so this will also about the newly softwares or updated software to use to do the genome wide analysis this series will include all that analysis and this is a brief introduction about that series so hopefully it will help you if you are feeling difficulties in the previous lecture but I am sure that by following this series you did not feel any difficulty and you will go through and easily do the genome wide analysis. Hopefully it will help you. If you have any query please comment. Thank you.